Hey everyone, Donovan Brown here. Paul asked on the previous video about using Dapper with gRPC. So in this video, I'm gonna show you how, but that's not all. This demo was developed with a custom neural voice from Azure Cognitive Services. It might sound like me, but that is not me. The voiceover in the demo is 100% synthetic. Let me know what you think about it in the comments. And if you would like to know more about custom neural voice, let's go. Good morning, everyone. No, let's try it again. Good morning, everyone. Oh, perfect. First, we need a gRPC service. Using Visual Studio, select Create a New Project and search for gRPC. Use the ASP.NET Core gRPC service template and name the project server and the solution gRPC Demo. On the final page, simply click Create. This will create a complete service with the protos needed to create a client application. To add a client, right-click on the solution and select New Project. Use a simple console application and name the project client. Next, add a service reference to pull in the protos from the gRPC service. Visual Studio uses the protos to create all the code needed. Now, update the client to call the service. Using gRPC requires a server address and a port. When using Dapper, the port will be different, so I store the port separately. Now, create a channel using the server address. Next, create a client using the channel to call the service. All gRPC calls take a request object and return a response. The protos we added to the client generated all the code we need to create a request. Use the request object to call say hello and store the response. Finally, print the response message and add a read line to keep the console open. To test the code before we dapperize it, right-click on the project and select Properties. In the dialog box, select Multiple Startup Projects. Change the action of both projects to Start. Use the arrows to place the service at the top of the list. This makes sure the service starts before the client. Now start a new debug session. Notice the service starts, then the client, and then the client prints Hello Donovan. With the code working, we can update the client code to use Dapper. When an application is run with Dapper, environment variables are set that contain the HTTP and gRPC ports. Update line 10 to read the environment variable or default to port 5000. This enables the code to be run with or without Dapper. To enable Dapper to find the service, add a metadata object with the Dapper app ID set to the service name, which in this example will be server. When we run the service with Dapper, we will set its app ID to server. Update the call to say hello to pass the metadata. Now enable the gRPC proxy in Dapper by updating the configuration. I am updating the default configuration installed when Dapper init is run. However, you could make a copy of this file and have a specific configuration for this application. From a terminal, start the gRPC service using the dapper run command. This command tells dapper to assign my service the app ID of server and to speak to the service on port 5000 using gRPC. Notice we did not have to change the service code at all. Just running the application with the dapper run command is all it takes. Applications don't even have to know they are being dapperized. Now start the client using Dapper Run. Here I assign the app ID of client and set the protocol to gRPC. Once the client starts, it prints Hello Donovan as before, but now is using Dapper over gRPC. Opening the Zipkin container that Dapper runs by default, we can see one of the benefits of using Dapper. We already have tracing without having to write any code to get it. Having the traffic go through the Dapper sidecar takes advantage of the multiple authentication, tracing, metrics, access lists, network level resiliency, and API token-based authentication while still leveraging the performance boost of gRPC. And don't forget, let me know what you thought about the custom neural voice used during the demo. Good morning, everyone. No, let's try that again. Good morning, everyone. Oh, perfect.